Hi guys, welcome back. Thanks again for watching. So this one has been requested quite a bit. Um, as you know, I I don't know if I could call myself a tubing mascara expert, but a lot of people do come to me asking, have I tried this? Do you know about this? Blah, 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 all those things. And namely about tubing mascaras, which I love. Like I buy them anyway, so I might as well talk to you guys about them. It's not really a big deal. Um, but over and over, over the, over and over, over the years, that doesn't make sense. Time and again, over the years, Okay, I'll just stop. Over the years, I have been asked about one in particular, which is a drugstore one, because of course, like I like to find you guys some cheaper options, because we know that they're Thrive, they're Blink, they're some of these kind of higher end ones, but finding a drugstore one is sometimes a little bit of a challenge. So without further ado, I am going to be reviewing this one right here. It does, oh, there it is. <laughs> so this is the Maybelline, yes, Maybelline Snapscara. And I had bought this maybe about two, even three years ago, because I'd heard that it was a tubing drugstore one and I didn't like it. <laughs> I don't have it anymore. If I don't like them, I either give them away or I try to use them, but I don't know. I just, it gets lost, lost in the trash. So needless to say, I went back out. I repurchased this bad boy. This is actually in the shade brown, which I like to find like brown shades because everything comes in black. But if I can find a brown, I prefer that. It actually comes in like some colored shades as well, which is kind of fun. Um, but yeah, we're going to try it on. I obviously already have it on my face. I've already got my makeup done, but I am kind of like backtracking my way through this video and then I will take it off at the end of the night. I will show you right here. I'm not gonna go to my bathroom. We're renovating the house. I have purple walls. But before we jump in, I wanted to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed lately. Um, I'm just so thrilled to be kind of like ramping it back up. I, I love doing this YouTube thing and I love teaching you guys, or not really teaching you. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, I love showing you guys what I have found and I've got some really fun ideas coming up. Um, so if you are interested in tubing mascara, if you're interested in sunscreen, if you're interested in skincare, if you're interested in finding affordable options for higher priced things, that's here. Stay here. Subscribe, like, do the little bell thing, and I will be bringing you more of those videos. So let's jump into it now. If I was smart, I find you a star, and we could be Lighting up the dark But there's nothing I can do I can never get to you Okay, so that was the application. And as you can see, I think it looks really great on. I think it is kind of more in the voluminous range of mascaras versus the defining types of mascaras, which is great. I like a combination of both. A few of my thoughts before we actually take it off because that's kind of the determining factor, but I did want to talk through the wand a little. So as you can see, the wand is kind of curved. Um, <laughs> there we go. And I like that. I think that's an interesting part of it. And mainly because I like how it gets a little bit thinner and kind of um, narrower at the end, just because especially on your inner corners, maybe your lower lash line, it makes it a lot easier to apply. I don't find that the fatter end really gets you fatter lashes or like more voluminous ones, but you know, if they made a thinner end, then they have to make a fatter end, I guess. So obviously the price is a big one. Price is really low on this. I found it where did I find it? I think Target had one of the lowest prices, which was about $5.99, maybe $6.99. I know Walmart also has usually the lowest of the prices. Uh, you can get it pretty much everywhere, Ulta, Amazon, all these places. So you can order it online, you can order it in the store. It is readily available. And I know for a lot of the people that watch that are not in the US, this is one of the ones that they kind of point to because, hey, we can't get blank, we can't get Thrive. Can you see if this one is tubing because we can get it in my country? So, so that's it. I don't really have a ton of thoughts on it. Um, if it is a tubing mascara, I would put it in the class of kind of like the e.l.f. one because it does give you that voluminous look similar to that. 
Um, also in the drugstore realm of the L'Oreal Double Extend one, which has the two-sided. So those are my two drugstore options right now that are tubing, um, and I have been really liking those. So if this one doesn't work, those are two options. I'm not sure if they're available outside of the US. Again, that's kind of a tricky thing. I just had this dream the other day that I was in Korea and shopping in one of their like drugstores because Korean skincare and makeup is so much fun and so... I feel like so much better than in the US. So maybe one day <laughs> when I have all the money in the world and all the time in the world, I can travel around to all of your countries and try all of your makeup. That would be like literally my dream come true. But until then, I will have to just do off of your recommendations. So let me know if there's something else you'd like me to try that's available in your country or at your drugstore in the US and I will try it. But now let's take this off my face because this video does not need to be 18 minutes long, does it? We just need to know one thing. Is it tubing or not? All right, we're back. We're back. And it is, let's see, it's 5.45. Oh yeah, I was listening to Taylor Swift. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Um, but yes, it's the end of the day and we're here. I mean, it's not the end of the day, but it's the end of the day for me. I but let's take a look up close at what the mascara looks like. So I think it looks pretty good. It still looks pretty defined. I would say it's not as voluminous as maybe like the blink one that I just tried, but I, let's see, I don't have many complaints about it right now. I didn't find that it flaked. I didn't find it transferred. I was out. I did have a mask on. And so I don't have the worst transfer, but like some mascaras, when I do wear a mask, it will like, I'll see little flakes up there or little smudges. So this one had none of that. So that's a good sign. Now the most important part of it, we've got a giant bowl of water. <laughs> what if I just dunked my head in? That would be awesome. <laughs> but no, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna put my hair up. Okay guys, let's wash it off. And I'll stop jabbering. At least the water's warm. And I'm just kind of using water, like putting it in my hands. I'm not using any washcloth or anything like that. It's not a good sign. That's not a good sign. Hmm. I don't think it's a tubing mascara, y'all. Just don't think so. What if I just ended the video like this? I'm like, all right, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video, bye. This is an accurate depiction of how I feel this week. Okay guys, this is not coming off with water. It's not coming off with this dish towel. Also this dish towel might be like driving my skin crazy. It's just a little too harsh. So I'm gonna stop here, but we all saw that it's not a tubing mascara. Um, if you do wanna continue to use this, I would recommend an oil cleanser. That'll probably get it off a lot more easily. Um, probably just like a normal cleanser will help as well. But this is a good test because if it doesn't do well with just warm water, we know 100% that it's not a tubing mascara and it just gives you an idea. Um, so yeah, that's what it looks like. But thank you again for watching this time for real. <laughs> and I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget, like, subscribe, ring the bell, all these things. Bye guys.